All right, welcome back to Vital Refinement. This is episode nine of things that I learned in 2020. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about something that is taboo in the women world, woman world, or relation to women. I don't know how to describe it, but something I learned in 2020 was that I'm not ready to have children and I never know if I want to have children I think I do but I go back and forth between it and 2020 really uh, reinforced that back and forthness I know my last episode I was like I'm not gonna straddle the fence I'm gonna make up my mind I'm gonna do this no this is one that like I literally go back and forth about and at the top of 2020, I was like going through the process of uh, fertility, um, getting, you know, the egg and the sperm and having like a little incubator moment and making it happen, right? But then a the pandemic hit and that slowed things down. People didn't know what they're going to do. Stuff, stuff was shutting down. So you know that 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 process stopped and I'm actually grateful it did because <laughs> these women out here who was having who was pregnant during the pandemic which was stressful for everyone and then having kids in the pandemic god bless them these pandemic babies are something else i'm sure you have seen the tiktoks the youtubes the instagrams the facebooks of these pandemic babies just out here wilding, okay? That's one thing, for being pregnant in a stressful moment, having kids that, <laughs> I don't know what, what they even call these kids other than pandemic babies. But then also these parents who were having to work from home, or not work from home, but their kids, at home, their kids are at home doing school from home, Hearing them share their experience, having a child at home with them who was in school, K-12, was terrifying. Their struggles were terrifying. I can only imagine how stressful that was, only because of, you know, the stories they, they shared and I appreciate them for sharing that because that made me realize like I'm I don't know about this like I don't know I mean of course I'm a resilient person I'm pretty I'm pretty good at that but like I don't know like I understand how many kid is like you're responsible for another human that's the biggest thing another thing I'm I hear from parents is like yeah you're no longer the most important thing in your life. You're no longer able to put yourself first. Like that person comes before you 90, 80, 90% of the time. Which is how it's supposed to be. I get that. But after learning all these other lessons, I realized that I hadn't been putting myself first for a very long time. And I just started learning how to do that and how I'm correcting that and how I'm like growing in that way. And I'm like, I need some time. I need some time to cater to myself for a while because I've had it done it majority of my life. So, yeah, that's what I learned in 2020. I'm not ready for children. I don't know when I'm going to be ready. <sighs> but I just don't feel secure in having children right now. Um, and I'm, I'm accepted that's okay. You know, I'm getting older. Um, I pray that I'm still able to in the next few years. <laughs> and that I have a safe and healthy pregnancy and birth. That's something that, you know, I'm always um, praying for and always have in my mind when I'm considering children. I really want to be at a healthier weight and a more active lifestyle before bringing a child into this world I want to be in a healthy relationship um, 
um, a more stable, secure home because the place I live in now is like small and there's no way a child would fit in here um, or have like an enjoyable life in this small space. <laughs> so there's these are just different factors. I'm just like, yeah, I wouldn't want to bring a child. And this world in general, I, that's, another, that's a whole other topic of like this world is trash. But just like in my general personal life, like I want things to be set up a little bit different. And I know that parents are like, oh, you'll never be ready. Like no one's ever really ready. I get that. But I, there are things in my control that I can prepare and have ready for when, when I want to bring a child in, into my life. Um, and that's their environment from relationships to family to the home that we plan to raise them in um, to finances um, to the physical body that I'm going to be nurturing it in for 10 months like that matters and it's not together right now so just these different factors of, and just not feeling secure in any real way in different parts of my life I'm just like yeah I'm not ready for a kid you know and mentally like I just started going to therapy and getting my mental health together I'm always working on my spiritual health like these are factors I want to be stable and I know that I, I talked to my therapist about this like she's like nothing's ever going to be balanced nothing's ever going to be perfectly fit fitting to bring a child and child into your into your life but I still would like it to be at least 60%. <laughs> at least 60 to 70%. Like, ideally what I would, want, how I would want things to be for a kid to rise. Right now, I'm nowhere near that. So, <laughs> so that's what I realized in 2020. I'm just like, I'm, it was God's divine grace that had the real stop and it stopped that process of me going to get the baby stuff done and yes there's some other aspects of that that wasn't you know that positive you know we did lose a lot of people but for me personally like I'm so grateful that that process <laughs> stopped and it, I had time to really think and consider some things because I really was once again I was going through that process because I knew my spouse really wanted a kid and it wasn't because I wanted it like once again I was living out of fear of possibly losing him and I was living out of like living for others because everyone's like oh you're uh, you know you're married it's time to have a kid my my mom oh I'm getting older I need a grandbaby you know like all these things like I literally was about to make that decision based off fear and pleasing others and without that process being stopped and me having 2020 to really reflect on these things that I've shared in this series about what I learned in 2020 like I would have been with a one or two year old right now like <laughs> miserable <laughs> and that's not okay so that's what I learned in 2020 I wasn't ready for children and I just dug on me that I really was making that decision based on others expectations of me and that's not okay but yeah I, I talk about that in episode one how I have been living my entire life for others, pressure of others, pleasing friends and family, rushing into things. So I'm glad that I learned that and um, that I had that time to to learn it <laughs> before I made it happen. So that is episode nine of Vital Refinement, Things I Learned in 2020. I hope that you got something out of this. I know that it's more relative to women um, I mean, I guess it's relative to men too. Like, a man might think he wants some kids right now, but then he's like, nah, 
fam I'm good right now but yeah um, this is me being honest and that was the episode 9 I hope you enjoyed listening to it and um, comment down below if you could relate or if you you know you just want to share something like the video and I appreciate you listening once again take care God bless you and um, enjoy the rest of your day or night whenever you listen to this peace